Grandma Lee is 88 years old, a so-called South Korean comfort woman, one of tens of thousands forced to be a sex slave for Japan's Imperial Army. But every day she fights for women that shared her nightmare. I want to be able to tell them when I uh, go to heaven, see sister, I did it, I resolved it. Intended to remove one of the most intractable deadlocks in relations between South Korea and Japan, crucial allies to the United States, last year Japan issued an apology in a landmark agreement and promised $8.3 million in care. But many of the victims alive today, like Grandma Lee, say they do not accept the agreement, that it lacks sincerity. That's why Grandma Lee took to the steps of City Hall today, along with other local leaders, to announce an introduction to a possible New York City resolution, demanding Japan formally acknowledge and apologize for its sexual enslavement of women. It also urges the Japanese government to teach future generations about its horrible crime. That is an atrocity that should not have happened then, and it should never happen again. If adopted, New York City's resolution will be the third of its kind among major U.S. cities, following Chicago and San Francisco, hopefully stepping stones that will prevent future sexual enslavement. If Japan resolves it, the world will resolve it. Following the presser, Grandma Lee also delivered a speech at UN headquarters for an International Women's Day event, conveying her view on the deal struck between South Korea and Japan. Less than 50 South Korean victims are alive today. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.